welcome back everyone. In today's video, we're going to talk about bench vice systems and why you probably don't need one if you're working in a small workshop. Now that's probably sacrilege to a lot of woodworkers and would-be woodworkers. Usually the front vice system is the centerpiece to any fine workbench. And if you're going with a traditional workbench system, as many of you do, or if you're starting off with the bigger is better approach and you're building yourself a big, heavy, blocky workbench because everybody told you that was the best way to go, of course you wanna mount something substantial onto it so that you can secure your work just like all the pros do. And if you pay attention, some woodworkers out there don't even have any kind of a vice system at all. Some woodworkers work off of a very simple work table and just use portable clamps or clamping configurations as needed. Some people think you need a traditional bench vice system to work with hand tools. That again is just not true. There are many ways to secure your work to a work surface that don't include getting a big expensive vice system. A vice system and Clamping really has everything to do with the type of workbench you decide to work with. My workbench is a Scandinavian inspired design. It simply has an old traditional woodworking vise on the tail end on one side. It has a multi-function top on the top of it, which is removable. Then I have a removable tool tray here on the other tail end along with a power bar that gives me a place to plug in my power tools. And I used to have a front vice system um, and I got rid of that. I, I got rid of that in favor of the multifunction worktop and the ability to grab one of these surface clamps and attach it to the front right here. I cut these dados on the miter saw and I did a video on that a while ago and I'll include it in the description in this video so you can check it out. But it's a much quicker way of cutting dados compared to running it through on the cross cut sled on a table saw. Also allows you to handle long pieces like this arbor that I'm building. So I'm just cleaning up my cuts with the chisel, which is really easy chisel work. It's just a little bit of cleanup. It doesn't have to be spotless, but we want to get it flat as possible so everything's sitting correctly. You know, having a ledge the way I do on this bench is much more helpful than than having a front vice system. And I've said this before, I could have a front vice system and a dead man like you do on traditional workbenches. It was much simpler to build this workbench with just one big, one long ledge at the front, no vice system at the front so that I'm not constantly walking around it and I find it personally a lot easier to work with. I like to use this simple ledge that I've built onto my bench. I can bring things up a little bit if I need to. So what I'll do is I'll put a couple of shims down if I've got, if I need to go up a bit, then put my board on top and now I'm clearing the top. No problem. The next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to clamp it on there. And you'll notice that I have these holes at the bottom. I've got one here and one here. So instead of buying a really fancy, expensive vice system, I simply take one of these quick grip clamps. I remove the head. And now I'm going to put one end 
into the hole. With these clamps, these removable heads for the quick grip clamps, the great thing is that you can reverse them and have them going in either direction. Uh, it gives me plenty of room. It's five feet long. It's a nice big grid of dog holes. My Veritex clamps work in here just great. These are the ones I use the most. I can throw my bench dogs down anywhere I need some stops. The other thing I can do is put these in this dog hole, clamp it down, and now I have surface clamps on the front. Suppose I'm working on something in the front here. I can lock that down. So I can clamp on the front, I can clamp on the surface. It doesn't really matter. There's so many different ways that you can configure this. Uh, the possibilities are pretty much endless. I can throw on a piece here and have it clamped down in seconds. If I'm in a situation where I need two clamps, two surface clamps, you know, I can do that as well. I'm going to throw another one down here. So now I've got two surface clamps securing a piece on the front if I need it. This just gives me a lot more freedom from what I had on my previous setup, it's just so much more modular than it used to be. And that's how you turn one workbench into two workbenches instantly. So now I have this work surface over here to work off of, and I've got my main workbench. I've automatically extended the capabilities of my shop and it only took me a few seconds to set this up with my folding sawhorses. What's really nice about this tabletop is I can throw it in the back of my truck along with a couple of sawhorses. I can have my workbench anywhere I go and I'm not losing any of the functionality that I have here in my home workshop. Well that concludes working without a big fancy vice system on your workbench. There are so many different designs out there for workbenches and vice systems. I encourage you to do your research and figure out which one will work best for you in your environment. You can get some traditional workbenches that are smaller, that take up less space, that will have traditional vice and clamping systems on them already built in. And some of those will work just fine for you. For myself, I found that having the flexibility of being able to remove clamping systems and set up any configuration depending on the job that I'm doing gives me a lot more flexibility in my work environment. So really, I encourage you to do your research and figure out which bench and vice systems will work best for you. If you like the multifunction worktop that I've built, for my workbench, there's a video out on it. I'll link to it in the description below. Very soon, I'll post some plans on my website for the complete bench system that I have in my workshop. But definitely check out some of the more nimble workbench systems like Ron Polk's Polk Workbench and Bob Chase's Plywood Workbench. Those are very practical, very easy to build. I believe you can get plans for those quite easily on their respective websites. So do your research and figure out what works best for you. If you want to help me make and edit these videos, head on over to my donation page right over here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There are a couple more videos on this side you can watch. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.